be beaten for democracy, and you misuse democracy in the street. Your orders to disperse that Martin will not continue. Fifteenth Amendment made it clear that you couldn't deny somebody the, the right to vote based on their race, color, and previous condition of servitude. However, it didn't ensure the right to vote for all citizens. There were ways to keep people from, from participating in the democracy, and, and uh, there's a number of different ways, all of them just insidious. But probably the most insidious of all of these uh, was the grandfather clause. And the grandfather clause uh, stipulated that regardless of, of one's race, irrespective of one's previous condition of servitude, everybody is allowed to vote, of course, as long as their grandfather uh, voted. This worked out well for certain demographics uh, and for uh, people who were previously enslaved, uh, their grandparents didn't vote, their grandfather didn't vote. So that's a problem. The future problem or the ensuing problem would be that if I don't vote, that means that my grandkids can't vote. And so there's never going to be a time that we'd be allowed to vote. The other part is violence. And this started fairly early after the 15th Amendment. Uh, you saw the rise of the Ku Klux Klan in Tennessee, which spread throughout the South. But they weren't alone. They had other groups called the Red Shirts that would show up to the polls with red slashes across their chest, intimidating, literally intimidating voters. And so uh, that was some things that you saw. A wave of new laws making it tougher than ever just to cast a ballot. 17 states will have new voting regulations in place for the presidential election this November. About 10% of registered voters don't have the right kind of ID. Voting rights serve as the conduit through which all other change is made possible. You cannot tackle economic insecurity. You cannot fight for better climate change legislation. You cannot protect access to criminal justice reform. The things we want to see made real become so because of voting. Voter suppression is sort of a political tactic or technique to try to keep voters away that you think won't support you. Almost all of these efforts have been designed to sort of keep poor people or people of color who historically vote overwhelmingly Democratic from voting. How can, how can you sort of combat voter suppression? Uh, well, we live in a moment in time where the dem in, in democratic states like California, we have, we're trying to make it as easy as possible to vote. You know, so. so young people have to make it their business to, to go in mass to the voting booths. Youth will be the deciding factor of, of this upcoming presidential election in 2020. There is no doubt about it.